Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, pink uh, square DEFG fully inscribed uh, in an isosceles uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, side length uh, AC is uh, 10 units and this uh, other side length uh, BC is 10 units as well. And moreover, uh, this uh, side length uh, AB is uh, 12. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, pink square DEFG. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, big uh, triangle uh, ABC. And we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, these are uh, two side lengths uh, have uh, equal length. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle is going to be equal to this uh, angle. If I call this angle alpha, then this angle has got to be alpha as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, pink uh, square. We can see that this uh, side uh, length uh, ED is uh, parallel to this uh, side length uh, FG. So that means uh, this angle has got to be congruent to, to this uh, angle since they are a corresponding angle. If this angle is alpha, then this angle has got to be alpha as well. So therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, FGB is an isosceles uh, triangle as well since uh, this angle equals to this uh, angle. So therefore we conclude that these are uh, two triangles uh, this triangle uh, FGB and this uh, big triangle uh, ABC are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. So that means uh, their side lengths are going to have uh, the same uh, proportion. If this side length uh, is uh, 10, then this side length has got to be 10 times uh, some constant uh, A. Likewise, uh, this side is going to be 10 A and this side uh, is going to be according to this uh, 12 that is going to give us uh, 12 times uh, a as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, abc without uh, this uh, pink uh, square over here and here i have drawn a perpendicular cp and since uh, these uh, two side lengths uh, are uh, equal. So therefore uh, this segment uh, AP is going to be equal to this segment uh, PB. So that means uh, this is going to be the half of this 12 that is going to be 6 and this is going to be 6 uh, as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, APC whose uh, side lengths are 6 uh, and uh, 10. We are going to calculate uh, this uh, side length uh, PC. And now let's recall the Pythagorean uh, triplets 3, 4, uh, 5. If we multiply these uh, triplets uh, by 2 across the board, then our new Pythagorean triplets are going to become uh, 3 times 2 is going to give us 6, 4 times 2 is going to give us 8, and 5 times uh, 2 is going to give us 10. So therefore, in our this uh, right triangle, uh, APC, if this side length is uh, 6, uh, this is 10, uh, then this side length uh, CP is going to be 8. So therefore, our this uh, unknown side length uh, CP turns out to be 8 uh, units. And here's our next step. Let's assume that alpha and uh, beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles, uh, alpha plus beta is going to be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this uh, angle is uh, alpha. If this is our 90 degree angle, then uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AEF. And we know our this angle is alpha. This is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. So therefore we conclude that these uh, two right uh, triangles AEF uh, and this uh, triangle uh, APC are uh, similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. 
So therefore, uh, their side lengths uh, have a uh, same uh, proportion. If we look at uh, this uh, 10, uh, then uh, this side length uh, AF is going to become uh, 10 times uh, some constant uh, B. If this uh, side length is uh, 6, then uh, this uh, side length A is going to become 6 times uh, B. And finally, for this side uh, 8, uh, this uh, length is going to become uh, 8 uh, times b and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, pink uh, square d e f g so that means all these uh, side lengths uh, are going to be equal if i call this side length uh, x then this side length is going to be x x and x uh, across the board and now let's make an observation look at this uh, side length uh, e f this is equal to 8 B and this is also equals to X as well. So therefore we can equate them. Therefore we can write 8 times B equals to X. Let's divide both sides by 8. So therefore our B value is going to become X divided by 8. Now let's focus on this side length 10 B. And we know our B value is uh, X divided by 8. So therefore, I'm going to replace this B by X uh, divided by 8. So therefore, this could be written as 10 times uh, X uh, divided by 8. And if we simplify that could be written as uh, 5 uh, X uh, divided by 4. So therefore, this uh, 10 B could be replaced uh, by 5 uh, x divided by 4 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, side length uh, fg that is equal to 10 times a and that is also equal to x so i can uh, equate them as well so therefore i can uh, write uh, 10 times uh, a equals to x let's divide both sides by 10 to isolate a so therefore our a value turns out to be x uh, divided by 10 and now let's focus on this uh, side length uh, 12 uh, a and our this uh, a value is uh, x divided by 10 so i'm gonna replace this a by x uh, divided by 10 over here so therefore i can write uh, 12 times uh, x uh, divided by 10 and if we simplify this thing that is going to give us uh, 6 uh, x uh, divided by 5 so therefore i'm going to replace uh, this uh, 12a by 6 uh, x uh, divided by 5 and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, side length uh, a b is going to be equal to this uh, 5x uh, divided by 4 plus uh, 6x uh, divided by 5 and this uh, side length uh, a b is also equal to 12 so I can equate uh, them equals to 12 so therefore I can write uh, 5x uh, divided by 4 plus uh, 6x uh, uh, divided by 5 uh, equals to 12 and now we can see if we look at uh, the denominator 4 and 5 uh, our least uh, common denominator or sometimes we call it uh, least common multiple uh, is going to be equal to 20 so therefore I'm going to multiply both of these uh, terms uh, by 20 and on this side uh, 20 as well across the board and now we can see that 4 goes into 25 times 5 goes into 24 times so therefore 5 times 5x is going to give us uh, 25x plus uh, 4 times 6 is going to give us uh, 24x equal to 200 and 40 on the right hand side so therefore let's combine the like term that's going to give us a 49 x equals to 200 and 40 let's go ahead and divide both side by 49 to isolate x so therefore our x value turns out to be 240 divided by 49 units so therefore the side length of this pink square turns out to be a 240 divided by 49 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, pink uh, square 
And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length of the square. And in our case, uh, our side length uh, is equal to 240 divided by 49. So therefore, the area of this uh, pink uh, square is going to become 240 divided by 49 whole uh, square. And if we simplify this thing, uh, so the area of this uh, pink square is going to be approximately equal to 24 square units. So thus the area of this uh, pink square DEFG turns out to be approximately equal to 24 uh, square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.